A bold twist to a daring daylight armed robbery at a convenience store in Nipawin last week. As Carla Shinkaruff reports, staff jumped a gunman and a security camera caught it all. It looks like a quiet Thursday at this convenience store just outside of Nipawin, but little did the staff at the Paramart SO know this was about to happen. You can see a male entering the store at around 4.30 Thursday. It's still daylight. Came in with a gun, with a loaded sawed-off shotgun, and he said, don't move. Everybody, don't move. They didn't listen to him. That's general manager Brennan Jardine, who says he wasn't there at the time, but has talked to staff involved. Initially, it appears that two of the staff members fled into the back. But a few seconds later, when the gunman came behind the counter and his back was turned, this happened. That was the initial contact. Then another employee used a folding chair, which knocked him to the floor. The guy in the black was more in front of him. He got a hold of the gun. And then when the guy jumped him, that, that he pulled the gun. That helped him to release the gun. Staff called 911. It took 10 minutes for RCMP to arrive. And then, and then another guy came in from the kitchen side of it, and he they kind of just held him down. It was a little bit of tag team. RCMP confirmed that a 25-year-old man was arrested. He's charged with firearms offenses. Jardine is happy with how it all turned out. And I would not have told him to do that, but I really think they did the right thing. Had, had, they, had they done it different, the guy might have got away with whatever he was after but they, he might have also shot. Since the incident, people from the community have been stopping in, most of them supportive, but some making jokes about it, which Jardine said isn't helping the mental health of his staff who are trying to cope. Overall, I think they're pretty happy because they dodged a bullet. Nobody got shot. The, the, the gun didn't go off. The store was closed for the remainder of the day on Thursday and reopened Friday. Jardine plans to use that video for training in the future. Carla Shinkarook, CTV News, Saskatoon.